So here you are in your physical bodies, magnificent physical bodies, right as you intended to be exploring life, giving birth to more and now wanting to calibrate yourself into vibrational accord with what you're asking for. Sometimes we know you come to a gathering like this and you see a woman who seems pretty sure of what she's saying. She certainly likes the sound of it and she's forceful and strong. And you might think, well, here's another person with a strong opinion and maybe there's something of value for me. Maybe I'll take a piece of it. Maybe I'll apply it and maybe my life will improve as a result of it. And that's all fine. That's what is happening all over your world. You're witnessing one another and learning from each other and experiencing benefit from one another. And we like all of that, but there's another thing that we like that can happen for you here. And that is when we offer a suggestion to you, when we explain to you the laws of the universe and we explain to you that there's an inner being you and there is a physical you and that when there is harmony between the two, you feel wonderful. And when we explain to you that you are a vibrational being and that when you have resistance because of what you're thinking about, your vibration is more sluggish because you've introduced resistance to it and a sluggish vibration does not allow you full alignment with who you really are. And when we explain to you that full alignment with who you really are, not only produces clarity and sure footedness, but it is also a refreshment. That is really what life is all about. In other words, you're here refueling and refreshing with this replenishing energy of source. So, then we offer to you a process like meditation. We say to you, if you can find a time every day to quiet your mind for 15 or 20 minutes and by quiet your mind, we just mean no longer think the normal thoughts you think. And by no longer thinking the normal thoughts you think, we mean really quiet in your mind so that you're not thinking any thoughts because it's easier to think no thoughts than to try to think pure positive thoughts when you've been thinking something other than pure positive thoughts. It's easier to think no thought. So then we say, just listen to something that is boring, like maybe the sound of the air conditioner. Can you hear air in this room? Oh, hear that little whistle? find something in that sound and focus on it. And when you do, if you really will, sometimes Esther sits to focus. If there's no sound in her house, she has an app that actually says central air. <laughs> As you focus, sometimes your mind will wander. Sometimes it will take Esther five minutes to stop thinking about whatever the momentum of her thoughts are and to focus upon the air conditioner. Air conditioner is a good tool for Esther because she doesn't have any judgment about it. She doesn't think I've heard better. <laughs> so your mind quiets. And when you stop thinking thoughts, you stop negative thought. And when you stop negative thought, you stop resistance. And when there's no resistance in this moment of your being and you are awake, your vibration rises. And when your vibration rises, you calibrate, you allow the natural calibration. You allow yourself to be a cooperative component to the frequency of your source, who, as it is gathering cooperative components, gathers you because you are non-resistant. You see, the law of attraction cannot ever gather a non-cooperative component. Law of attraction doesn't allow that. That's why we say cooperative components are being gathered. When you are meditating and your mind is quiet, you become a cooperative component to your own high frequency. You see how it works? So you allow yourself that rising of vibration. And as you do that, after a day or two or three or four or five or 10 or 20, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day, what happens is you'll reach this state of non-resistant where now the thoughts that your inner being is thinking about the important things in your life can be received by you. You'll find yourself actually thinking the thoughts that your inner being is thinking about the things that matter to you. Sometimes you'll have an epiphany. Sometimes it's just a thought of something that feels fun to do. Esther will have a thought like, I think I'll move the furniture around again. And it sounds silly, but it's a thought that feels good to her and 
we have a few stories we won't tell you all of them to you here today where that thought led to something led to something led to something led to something and after the fact Esther understood how she was receiving from her inner being thoughts that were the path of least resistance in other words your inner being knows where you are in relationship to everything you want and so as you find this new non-resistant place or state of being your inner being will actually think a thought that will be easier for you to think easy for you to think and as you think that thought it will lead to that thought which will lead to that thought which will lead to that thought which will lead to that thought and before you know it you're witnessing thoughts turning to things in your experience so the point that we were making with all of that is so now it's not just like someone who seems pretty sure about what she's talking about standing on the stage now you have first-hand experience where you've quieted your mind you've achieved vibrational connection or calibration with your own inner being you have felt the impulse about something you've followed through with it and now you understand how it all works it's not just a theory that someone has it's something that you have experienced and practiced and once you've experienced it with one thing you can do it with all things we so much want you to understand that life has caused you to ask for so many things that you have enough in your vibrational reality to keep you living happily ever after for 20 or 30 lifetimes and that when you reach this place of letting your resistance dissipate and letting your calibration or alignment to who you really are be a more dominant part of your experience those who are watching you will begin noticing more of the things that they've heard you talking about that you desire flowing into your experience they will notice an uptake in the way you feel your mood will be elevated you will be turned in turned on you will be happy and alive about life you'll be eager about things your timing will be really good you'll find yourself feeling an impulse to leave your house at just the right time to accommodate whatever's happening in traffic you'll find yourself rendezvousing with people some people you know and some people you don't even know and you'll have the impulse to say something just at the right time that will be meaningful to them or to you or to both of you at the same time in other words you will be tuned into the knowledge and understanding that your inner being has about where you are in relationship to all things you want and this is what we really want you to hear you will be witnessing the deliberate creation of your own life experience and nothing less than that will ever be satisfying to you you didn't come into these bodies to live somebody else's idea of who you should be you are a creator and you are the creator of your own reality and you've come with others to bounce off one another but to come to your own conclusions of what you want and it is our powerful desire that you begin the living happily ever after right here right now deprivation will never take you to anything that you want there is no virtue in sacrifice there is no virtue in putting yourself in a position of awkward behavior you are powerful creators